bar loaded, you get on the platform, you take so long to set up or you take too long to get on there, you then have to re-rack the bar, that's then a no lift. And on top of that, you need to keep on the ball to know when your name is coming up, when you're next in line to lift. Cool, so with your attempts, once you've picked an opening weight and you've attempted it, say for example, if I picked 100 kilos and I failed it, then you cannot go down a weight. You then have to try to complete that in your attempt number two. Say for example, if you pick 80 kilos for the bench and then that's a no lift or it's too heavy and you don't complete it. <laughs> You then cannot, you can't go to the tables and say, I want to now lift 75 because that's your opener, you've already attempted it, you can't go down the weight. After the lift is then completed and it's all successful, you have one minute to advise the speaker or the table team what your next attempt is going to be. If you don't do that and then you just walk past them and you take too long and you're faffing about doing God knows what the hell you're doing, uh, they will then add 2.5 kilos. However, this then varies from federation to federation. Um, they will then add 2.5 kilos to your lift and then that will be your next attempt. Right, so changing attempts. This is where it gets a bit complicated. Say for example, if I go out and I squat 100 kilos and all is well, I get three white lights, and then I go to the table and I tell them, I want to now lift 110 for attempt number two. Now they're in the warm up room and then I'm feeling really good, but then I want to now change this to 115. What I need to do is I need to advise the table, go back to them, but I need to do this more than one minute from my next lift. If I do it in less than a minute of my lift, let's say for example, person before me is now lifting and then I go to them and I say, right, I want to change my lift that's within one minute. So there's an unwritten rule of doing it more or less, basically two lifters before you. So once, if you do want to change your attempt, discuss it with your coach, or if you're feeling good, kind of, yeah, have a debate with your coach, do whatever the hell you want to do. If you don't have a coach, see how you feel. Um, if you feel great, then you can go for it. Change it. However, again, you cannot go lower than your previous attempt, whether it was successful or unsuccessful. In terms of scoring, uh, powerlifting world, in the powerlifting world, they use, they use this formula called the Wilkes coefficient. It is used to identify the best lifters across different body weight categories and can also be used to compare male and female lifters. Um, so within the Wilkes scoring, it takes into account your weight, your sex, sometimes your age, so let's take these two lifters for example, we've got two males, one of them is in the 66 category, one of them is in the 83. They both finish, one of them finishes on 400 with 66, 83 kilo guy, finishes on 420. <laughs> now in terms of like the Wilkes calculator, it calculates as lifter 1 having a Wilkes score of 314 and lifter 2 Wilk score of 280. So that's the way how it calculates it. Uh, let's say for example, if these two were the top lifters in the 66 and 83, the best lifter award would obviously go to lifter one, because Wilk's are better. Cool, right? So in terms of like what you've got to wear, uh, the classic gear or raw, don't know why they call it raw. Don't ask me why. Um, <coughs> Basically, I'm just going to go through the gear that you can use. So obviously you need a lifting suit like this. Uh, you need a t-shirt underneath it when you're doing the squat and the bench. Obviously in powerlifting, when you're going into the low bar squat and you don't wear a t-shirt and you're just wearing a vest, good luck to your rear delts and the skin on your rear delts. Um, on top of that, you can use a belt, lifting shoes, Knee sleeves, if you use them, deadlift socks or shin pads, 
shin pads if you're a little bitch. Oh! And wrist wraps. Wrist wraps for when you're benching and when you're doing the low bar squat or even high bar squat. Don't know why you would use it for a high bar squat anyway. Cool, so tips. Basically, when you come in, you kind of want a rough idea of what you want to lift. You want to know your openers. Uh, there's an unwritten rule saying that you pretty much want to open up with no more than your free rep max or anything that you can hit for a heavy triple when you're running on like two hours of sleep. Usually it calculates around 85 to 92%. Obviously don't go hitting 92% on the platform um, for your open up. Um, first competition, if it is your first competition, do not cut weight. Don't worry about trying to get into a weight class below. Just do what you're doing. Don't forget the commands, which is the bar loaded and squat commands and all the other stuff. Um, come in early for the weigh-in so you can eat and digest after you've weighed in. Um, obviously, you want to taper and deload the week before the competition. If you don't know about what those are, or what the hell that means, speak to a coach, um, hit them up, ask them for advice. 